right, this is a quick uh, instructional video on how to put these drift rings on that I sell on eBay. Um, they're ABS plastic with 3M tape. Um, you can check out the other videos on my channel, Outer Zone RC, to you know kind of learn how to set up uh, one of these drift rigs here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna just show when you receive these how to put them on the tire is it's pretty simple but there's a little bit of a process to it to make them stick and work really well so first you're gonna need some paper towels um, and some alcohol I like the 91% um, get it real wet and then just wipe your tire down if you need to blow it off with some compressed air go ahead and do that just to get everything as clean as possible go through and dry it now when you receive the drift rings um, they're already going to have the tape installed on them and what you do is you just push them right through push your tires through like this it takes a little bit of finagling but there's not really a way to mess it up and then once you get them through you just kind of look at them on the side and try to get them as even as you can as you've got them through there um, you want to kind of push them a little bit over first like all the way through and then kind of back them through like this to make sure that you're going to get as much as this tape around the outer edge as possible and just try to get them as even as possible you don't really these ones stick out a little bit because they're like the short course ones. I'm just showing these because almost everybody has these. If you have a Traxxas Slash or um, you know any short course truck is going to come with some tires you can use. But what you want to do is you want to put that outer ring of tape as you'll see on these. Um, they've got the big outer ring of tape and then three on the inside. You can do two to three. Um, just depends on what I put on there. But um, once you get these on, uh, you'll see that you still have to pull the tape off. So what you need to do is you need to go grab a pair of your wife's good tweezers. And you it's very simple. You just find the end here. Um, and then you come in and you kind of pull the tire down. Get in here with the tweezers. Grab it. And once you get it out like that, you just pull it out easy as that and then you just repeat that process on the ones in here um, with the tweezers pull them out all the way around all three of them let's see how easy it is and then one more to go I tried this without the tape the rings kind of you'll, you'll be drifting in a corner and you'll hit something like a lump and uh, they'll actually pop off the tires um, and I tried just doing one side of the tire and it just kind of after you start hitting a bunch of stuff it will give you kind of like a wonky rim where it's like wobbly and stuff like that so I just found this is the best way to do it after two years of making these and using them on my own car um, so that's it uh, what you want to do is you want to let these sit overnight um, this two-sided tape takes uh, 20 minutes to adhere 50% and then it takes about another 72 hours to adhere 100%. So the longer the better, but one day works. I've never had a problem just doing them and then the next day going and driving. Um, now these last a really long time. Um, as you can see, this is my, uh, sorry about the vibration there, but this is my uh, Traxxas Slash, which I turned into a rally. Um, and uh, this, I bought that rally body and I've probably put about 20 hours of drifting on this. Um, and I'm about ready for a new set of tires. I just wanted to show real quick how you kind of want to have your uh, camber setting set up. In the rear, you're going to see that I don't have a whole lot of camber going in like this. Um, so you want to kind of make your back tires flat. You don't want to have them too much cam with too much camber. Um, they grip really well that way. And then the fronts, you just give a little bit. You don't even really have to mess with the front too much on the stock setting of the car, but you'll see as they're starting to wear in, they are starting to get quite a bit of uh, camber here. Um, so 
If you get more than that, you probably want to take a little bit of camber out of your settings, but the rear you want to take it all the way out. Try to try to get them to where they just wear flat. Um, and the last the longest, that way you can see the inside of mine here. Um, I've probably got about five more drifts on these, three to five more drifts. This one's getting a little smaller, but uh, they wear pretty evenly at that rate. Um, when you have just a little bit of camber in the front and none in the back. So that's how I'd start with setting up the car. Um, these are going to be terrible the first time you take them out. The car is not really going to do what you want. Go find uh, a new driveway that's real gritty and grippy and go play on that for the first three packs. Um, learn how to drift on that. It's going to be the easiest to learn how to drift and get really good. And then after you're about three packs in, you'll be able to go out on the road and take it to different surfaces and stuff. And that's the whole fun thing with these is different surfaces react so differently. So, um, you know, the car, just set the car up one way and just let the tires wear in about three packs. And uh, as it wears all the way down to the end, like this is going to be about the best handling car right here. Um, so when you get them all the way worn down, this is when they work the best. Um, but all the way to that, you just get to kind of work on your skills and stuff. And then once you get here and you need new tires, you start all over again and it's hard to drift again, but you've got all these new skills that you, your throttle control and different things like that. I'm going to be looking into getting a band saw so I can make some smoother cuts so they don't have that on them. Um, but that's couple hundred three hundred dollars so I gotta sell a bunch of these to do that but I do want to keep making these better and um, for people it doesn't really matter like I they wear down and they look nice once they start to wear in and stuff but I would like to send out a better product um, and then I do want to send uh, start sending some stickers with them some outer zone RC stickers that kind of look like uh, my logo with with the carbon and the purple and stuff like that but um yeah, it's just something I kind of started up, a little dream I had while uh, starting and playing with drifting this car, and I just had so much fun doing it. I just wanted other people to um, get to experience it, and uh, with with these uh, ABS tires, it's just really fun. Like they start to wear in and stuff. Uh, another tip is if they start getting too smooth, um, go back again to your gritty driveway and it will put some little tracks in it that will help you when you're sliding sideways to gain a little bit more grip. So what I do is I'll play out in the street for about 20 minutes, then I'll go hit my neighbor's driveway and get them all gripped up again. And it's just fun, uh, all the tuning you can do. And um, like I said, there's some other videos that I've made about how to tune the car um, and the batteries and stuff. Battery is the number one thing is getting an SMC two cell uh, extreme graphene battery that's that is going to give you the most throttle control and and that that's going to be the, the biggest uh, tip I can give you is getting one of those batteries but uh, anyway that's that's how you put the tires on let them sit overnight put them on and go have fun